Hello everybody, Tejas here, and today I want to talk about some easy tips and tricks that you can implement in your life to make exercising and or going to the gym a routine part of your life. In today's day and age where it's really easy to not have to move too much due to the conveniences of technology, finding ways to routinize movement and exercise in our life is important. And Going to the gym is a really great proxy goal for this because gyms are great environments to that are very conducive to exercising because everything in the gym generally has to do with exercising. Everyone at a gym is usually exercising or there to help you on your exercise journey. And there are as little to no distractions from that fact, unlike our home or outdoors where there's plenty of distractions. So makes for a really great place for a beginner to get into fitness and sort of build that discipline so that they may exercise outside of that environment. It's worth mentioning that the gym can feel like a very intimidating environment. It's very hard to do something new in a open space like a gym without feeling like you're being judged. And whether people are judgmental or not, it is very hard to stay confident in that type of environment. And at the risk of sounding hackneyed, it's important to remember that it is not worth paying an ounce of mind towards anyone that is judging you for trying to be the best version of yourself. Though, I will take into account how intimidating you can feel at the gym when providing some tips to make you feel more confident and routinize that process. So, without further ado, Let's get started. The first tip that I have is trying to implement a very basic, very simple workout regimen that you can do prior to going to the gym. And this can be as simple as taking a walk for 20 minutes every day or doing a jog, etc. These are very basic activities that can translate into something you can do at the gym with moderate confidence. The key here is you want to start with something basic that you can then build off of. Bonus points if you can pick an exercise that you also enjoy and is sustainable and you are inherently curious to learn more about. So whether that be something like yoga or dancing or weightlifting or gymnastics or calisthenics, whatever it is, it's important or very useful to find something that you are inherently curious about that you feel motivated to build off of. With regards to what regimen that you implement, the only specifics I have to give is that there it's important that the exercise regimen you choose should have a big focus on form and not on making quick gains because just like with going to the gym every day is a routine, you want to pick an exercise routine you can do every day sustainably and form is the bedrock of any workout regimen. So again, just to recap here, you want something basic, easy to follow with a focus on form and bonus points if it's something that you really enjoy doing that you would inherently be curious about building off of that then you can translate into the gym and build off of further. This will make you feel much more confident when you go to the gym because you'll have a regimen that you know how to do that you can feel moderately confident about accomplishing in the gym and building off of. Tip number two, and this is often slept on, is to get a personal trainer. As I mentioned before, form is a very, very important part of fitness and is actually the bedrock of fitness to make sure that what you're doing is something that is sustainable. And personal trainers can go a long way, especially initially, in making sure that you're forming the right habits right before you go off of on your own. One of the big complaints that I oftentimes hear about getting a personal trainer is that it can be very expensive and that is completely valid. But it's worth bearing in mind that there's a lot of ways to make this work financially too. Setting up a routine once a month and spacing it out so that you're not spending as much money per month, you're having fewer check-ins, but you are still having that routine force that's making sure that you are doing the right form when you are going through your exercises. And the last thing I want to say to close off of this point is that if you are playing with heavyweights, it is crucial that you get some sort of guidance to make sure that you are maintaining the right form because there's a lot that can go wrong when playing with heavyweights. Another way to make going to the gym routine and easy is getting that social support. Having someone with you that either knows the ropes and goes very often or someone who is trying to go more can both go a long way into making this a routine part of your life. A fourth and really easy way to make going to the gym an easy part of your life is going to fitness classes. And they do so many things for making this easy. 
Number one, building social bonds between you and others who go to the gym. This can make going to the gym feel a lot less intimidating. Two, it allows you to meet potential gym buddies who then can be your accountability partners should you guys hit it off. Or three, it allows you to be given explicit instruction instead of having to come out with routines by yourself. So it takes a lot of the mental work around building your own routine out of the equation and gives you a nice template to either build your own or to just continue going to classes. Not to mention, there will probably also be a big emphasis on form, which is another really great factor when starting out with fitness is having some sort of instruction that focuses on form, as I mentioned earlier. So the amazing benefits of just going to fitness classes to start out. The next thing is don't let your mind wander. This happens to beginner gym goers as well as gym goers that have gone for a long period of time. It's really easy to let your mind space out and having structures in your environment that make sure that you are on task as well as having the mental discipline to be is very important to make sure that you don't feel any sort of imposter syndrome when you're at the gym or you feel disengaged from your workout at the gym. My general recommendation here is just to ditch the phone and just have a timer and something that can play music if you need that. And at all times, either be in the middle of a working set or have a timer on your wrist or somewhere you can see that is explicitly telling you you have only this much time until your next working set. This way your mind is always engaged and focused on either exercising or resting. So that way you have no time to think about imposter syndrome or thinking about that you don't feel it. And your workout is also efficient. You're out of the gym faster this way as well. And those are sort of my main points. The last sort of comment I would like to close this video off of is that oftentimes when we set this goal of going to the gym routinely, it's important to take a step back and think about what the reason for this goal. And oftentimes it is to make fitness and exercising a routine part of our life. So for example, when we travel, we may not have a gym, but finding ways to exercise in those environments when we're not at the gym is really important for building that habit of exercising and even going to the gym further. Because it's so easy to go on vacation for two weeks, not exercise, come back and just not go to the gym because there's been so much time where you haven't been able to exercise. It can be out of your control to have a gym or not, but it's always in your control to exercise. So making sure you have some way to continue to exercise and building sort of emergency workout plans and or like alternative workout plans that allow you to get that routine with no access to the gym is important to allow you to continue it when you get back to a normal routine. And that concludes all of my recommendations. If you feel like you have any tips that I did not cover that would be valuable, please feel free to drop them in the comments and I will talk to you next time. Bye.